Right on. Right on. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, toilet water is a thing. Let's, um... Uh, what do I have? We get reacquainted with ye old inventory here. What's up, Doc? Okay, so. We can get upstairs and tear down some stuff. Wait till the morning and fix some stuff. Did we look at you? Yes, we did. And you. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay, so let's put out said torch here. Or this torch. Said. No. Anyway. We've got, you know, a little bit of time. A little bit of fatigue. So let's look some clothing over here. I believe the wool scarf is going to be the warmest of all of the items. So if we just harvest that. I can't believe it. I have no frostbite. A little bit of a little bit of frostbite risk still. Um back into clothes. So, we've got these wonderful boots, which are actually not as good as our shoes. Um, let's, let's rip this down. It's sure it's an hour and 15. She's got all night. So, let's, because she's getting hungry, let's get into some of this. Eat the chips. Have one of these. Twenty-five percent. That's dangerous syrup. Dangerous syrup. Okay. Um, we can sleep for ten. She's gonna feel great when she wakes up. Just great. Here we are. Oh, wait. Go for a soda. They're heavy. And uh, need that food. Okay, so let's look at our clothing from this angle, shall we? If we fix... Okay, let's really just... Here. We got a warmth bonus of seven degrees. So back into this. So if we fix. All right. Let's double down. It's because two hockey jerseys. Wow, that's a lot of shirts. Wow, an hour to fix that son of a gun. But it's 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 a good hockey jersey. Um, well, we're back up to eighty. That is nice. Born sports vest. This thing is useless. Much better though. Oh, she's getting too thirsty. At least that's what I'd like to. I'll pretend. She's just too thirsty. Now we're up to eight degrees. Not to just spend a day inside doing nothing, but uh, I really need to fix up my gear, right? So, let's do it. Come on. Excellent. 
wait for a second. All right, well, there goes the weather. The fun of watching a circle turn. Okay, so what else can I fix that would be worthwhile? The pants are good. what she's wearing. Yeah, 10 degrees. Okay. Okay. Can't really complain. All right. <clears throat> it would seem like that uh, windstorm has died off, so while well, she's not exhausted... Not a lot of matches. Yeah, while she's not exhausted, let's take a tour up to the signal tower. See what we can find up there. This is a strange weather phenomenon. Uh, all right. Okay, it is a clearing, clearing of the blizzard. Apparently, we stayed inside and just sewed our happy little way through a blizzard. I think it's so fresh, we don't even have any, uh, <clears throat> we don't have any wolves out. Now, I'd like to climb the world's most useless rope on the, on the left here, but it is so nice with just one downward arrow of, uh, of temperature loss. Man. Amazing. What does it feel like? A torch would solve all of her problems. Well, not all of her problems. She has many, many, many problems. But, the torch would be very helpful. I like the can opener. That is nice. Like, I like the differing uh, loot tables. I like the fact that I was, you know, a little bit uh, stressed about what I was going to find on Timberwolf and uh, made it here. I like how it worked out. But, I, I, I had no idea what I was going to get. And so far, we haven't found the heavy hammer. So, I'm hoping to find the heavy hammer up here. And then we will... If not, we'll skedaddle to the barn. Although, I don't think it spawns there anymore. So, we'll have to take a quick look at Thompson's. Then we'll head to the mine. And we'll... We'll get our way to Desolation Point. Ooh, a wind. A wind has picked up. But yeah, it, it feels like the animals haven't come back from the blizzard yet.
That's what I wanted to see. One of the reasons I went this way. Hello, rabbit. It's not you that I'm looking for. It's these guys. So if we're going to um, Desolation Point, and we haven't got the hammer yet, and I'm still in loot phase, we'll grab some, some saplings. And maybe when we get to Desolation Point, we can possibly hunt rather quickly. I'd have to have guts, though. But dried saplings would be good. We can, we can come up with the guts when we're in Desolation Point, I'm sure. I'd be able to survive that, though. Hmm. Just the length of time necessary. It's not a lot of rabbits. There's a lot of carcasses and I could do deer a deer push or something like that towards some wolves. I'm not taking any damage from cold. As a matter of fact, my uh, my health bar is unusually high. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just thinking what would I have for food? Well, guess I could murder some rabbits in Coastal Highway, leave the guts there, go to Desolation Point for, you know, three days, do my forging, and come back. I would definitely want more than two, because I'd want to be able to set up fishing pretty quickly because I haven't fished in in coastal highway in a, quite a while so I think this is good snow chickens but we have found all of the saplings we need just to get into business I think I think we'll we'll spend the night up here. Um, this, she's not in a hurry. Okay, could go all the way back up to Skeeters too. If there's a deer here, if the carcass is here. You might be worth grabbing everything off of. He's not, he's not here today. I'm not going to bother with the signal uh, transmission thing. We don't have a radio and, and we don't, uh, we're not in the right spot to start it up, you know, to start up the mission, so. We'll get there eventually. I'm going to take it real easy with her. She's in we're no rush. Okay, so there's a car battery. Well, we'll grab the dog food. Sure. We might get more ketchup chips. This stuff will come in handy. Man, what's with all the driving gloves? What's that? Oh, a replacement fuse. Well, that is not going to help. However, some soups, some sardines, and some coffee. Always appreciated. Metal shelf with a toaster. We got, uh, looks like the... Look, uh, looks like the hammer is not there. It's not in the microwave either. No combat pants under the bed, but again, I don't know if that's like I don't know what still is, you know, a thing. This will come in handy. But well, we're gonna put those back. One fresh rabbit pelt, one cured rabbit. Heavy hammer. I couldn't even see it, but now we have it. We can pretty much just go straight to Coastal Highway now. I 
not right now, not this very second, but in the morning, that is where we will head towards Coastal Highway. <clears throat> I will take my rabbit pelts. It is cured, but it said one fresh rabbit pelts. Uh, that is not a find I am used to at all. I think that's kind of neat. Well, um, yeah, she's getting tired to the point where sh things are getting heavy. Also, she's just carrying a gigantic hammer. Okay, now I will drop this because we have all the books for burning. She's in a position where she can actually read, too. These things you gotta cook somehow, right? Not on a skillet or whatever. I think they're, they're good to go like that. So we could head outside, cook some stuff. I get rid of some book weight. Still have eight matches. Okay, okay, let's do it that way. We'll go have some outside fire time. We'll use a cattail on that and that. We should find some other matches eventually. I would drink almost anything about now. Probably going to drink some water about now. Throw that on. A few sticks, maybe. Yeah, let's part with a piece of cedar. Why not? It's going to warm right up. Now, how do I cook? That's going to take an hour. It does, doesn't it? Hot water coming through. There we go. Now, ah, but 48 minutes. I know you can use them as a warmth bonus and stuff, but we're just going to eat these. Yeah, all I can think about is food. Well, all I can think about is that potato you're eating. That's not a lot of calories. Yeah, she does not have a lot of calories on her. Like, it looks impressive, but it's not. Alright, we can at least get a little a can of water on the go as well. How much time we got on this fire? Let's add some more of that fuel. Let's eat that hot potato. Look at that. That was great stuff. We might as well cook the other potato. I don't necessarily have to eat it right now. We have a potato for breakfast. Let's put some water in that, uh, this guy. Feels like night is coming. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Gotta love an aurora up here. Yeah, best to have one. A little bit more water, sure. That wouldn't hurt. Oh, and it's a full moon. See, the wolves would just be terrors right now. Get, get lost, Vista Location. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I get it. It is. Can you please... Stupid thing. What if I don't want to survey the location? I just want to, you know, look. Without the cheese emergency, too. That is so cool. Sorry. Anyway, let us get out of here and into here. There we go. Very nice. Well, we'll head on in here. Wow, it is incredibly bright. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, uh, one of these. Oh, that's that's flashy. My folks are pretty down. And, and that, okay, okay, you can stop. Come on. That's good. And that puts out your torch. Reading computers puts out your torch. Heads up. And all that was was just flashing lights in my face. They need to do that. They could stabilize it, I think. That <laughs> was mean. But anyway, we got the uh, we got the bit. So let's hop into bed here in a minute. Um, eat a couple of cattails. We've got a f full set of conditions, so I don't mind risking a chocolate bar right now. All right. We're ready. Sleep for 10 again? Possibly, possibly, possibly not 10 again. Alright, fully rested. That is great news. Let's have a, a now cold potato. Alright, we've had some breakfast. What do I want to read about? Fire starting? Basically, I'm just trying to get the sun to kind of get a little higher in the sky so it's not so bracingly cold out there. And depending on what it's doing, we may just sit tight, but I, you know, I've already burned a little. Oh, ho, ho, we are walking. The 
The fire barrel was still warm. Okay, so here we're gonna just, uh, take a walk. What would be a good place to go to? Let's go up and over and try to hit that fishing hut. Usually some nice things are in a fishing hut. I'm going to pull out a torch. And then be careful while I pick up sticks. I think you got to get on this side of the these rocks. Kind of towards the road. Oh, it sounds like there's deer. That's a wolf. Do I eh, okay. Let's go check out Cracker Cave. right away. Huh. Wouldn't quite do it, you know? Crackers, then, right? You know what I mean? Like, they move the crackers. Where did they go? You never know when I'm going to get worms. Oh, there's the crackers. Let's get these guys. Yep, just the two of them. And then we... W oh. I, I could have been actually curing those saplings. So there's a body at the entrance there. Making sure I'm not being approached by a bear. Leave some rose hips for later. As you do. Even with this toque and scarf, she is not digging the great outdoors. Bridge. Like, wait, did I go too far? You know, one of those moments. No, I did not. Hopefully we don't get moose stopped.
I don't see him. Gotta keep a bit of sprint just in case. All right, we've got too many sticks. I like the sounds of that. All right, that is not a moose. Is this a bandage? Bandage on the table. With some nothing in the drawer. Metal container. You can pick up some. Well, no, actually, you're going to eat uh, this kind of stuff. Cattails. Which you can pretend are miniature trees if you like, you know? Okay, so we've got some sort of carcass up there. Possibly. Well, I have a quick peek. This is not a carcass. It's a person. We will not be eating this. Oh, look, a stick. Grab that. Give him his feather. <clears throat> there we go. We pay our respects. And then we carry on. Right, Mr. Rabbit? And friend, there's there's a well-fed girl, and it doesn't look like I'm gonna lose it anytime soon. So that's nice. Okay, I think if you find a cured rabbit pelt, you should be able to find you know a fishing line, you know, fishing tackle. Survive the outdoors. That's a very interesting book to get. That's what we're looking for. All right, well, we are going to warm up here, so uh, we get this out. It's just that I got a bad feeling about this 80%, so I don't want to lose the match. Come on, little fire. Yes, please do, little fire. Ah, perfect indeed. Let's throw a seed around there, and we have been collecting the sticks. We'll be here for two and a half hours, sure, absolutely. Let's uh, see how we're doing for temperature there. That's going to be all right. Only we had a sleeping bag, eh? Now... Let's look at that food here. Well, we're in a fishing hut. Let's eat some fish. Chew on a carrot. I know they're good for soups and stuff, right? And, I mean, the, the, the don't get me wrong, the recipes are neat and everything, but... Uh, My character just eats raw meat. Not raw meat. Plain meat. It's raw meat. Well, that would be a little bit... That would be extreme. Alright, well... Do I need water? Uh, kind of a... Well, we'll do one liter. I do have the well-fed bonus, so that does give me a little... A little more wiggle room with the weight. Um, Alright, cooking, 30 minutes, blah, blah, blah. Let's... Um, Okay, we can kill 10 minutes with the birch bark crafting. Yeah, throw a couple more sticks on. I'm not really, she's not really warming up. I know that was only 10 minutes, but. Uh, a few more degrees. Okay. 
There we are. Three upward arrows. That's where we want to be. 13 until melted. Let's do some reishi. I don't believe I have any biotics. Might as well make a tea or two while we're here. Let's do a rose hip. Just get it all kind of ready, you know? Ooh, we're nice and warm, and the weather is uh, scary. Two hours. Some reishi. Do up some some mushrooms, and that's well. That ate up forty-five minutes. So we didn't sit out here and read, but we did get some time out, out outside without uh, getting killed, and also without uh, so that kills cabin fever. All right, let's boil that up. Let's. Uh, Let's, let's let's cook our, our, our well. We have one birch bark, so we might as well just cook those in a coffee. Let's throw a stick on. Let's make it two. We will always be able to pick up more sticks. Now you, what are you, two hours? Yes, let's research for an hour. It's looking for this fog to break. I mean, I probably won't get lost. It's just very dangerous. Now let's just... I'm not gonna bother with a with a warm beverage. That is <clears throat> that is all the uh, that's all the cattails on this side. Yeah, we're not we're not cold, so warm beverage is I don't believe necessary. So we'll go over here. We'll, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll go over here and get these guys. All right, I'm back. I did not want to have to clear my throat into your ears. Uh, anyway, so we'll, we'll get back here and we'll get these cattails. And then we'll continue on to Thompson's Crossing. Because that's where she'll be sleeping this evening. And it's just in this general direction. Either way, we'll end up finding the road. There is that cave kind of off over there, but I'm not going to... Ah! Stop it! I scared the living daylights out of me, and I was monologuing. Well, I was monologuing. I was just talking about the cave that I wasn't going to be able to find because of the fog. Because I'm kind of, you know, I don't really know the details that well. Like, I can't find it on a clear day, so... I'll miss it or whatever, right? So... We're just going to continue to go towards the road because... Ah! Uh, right. It's a relay. The wolf relay. Oh. 
Ah, fog. I would like to grab this maple sapling. We're gonna grab this stick. Now, is this gonna take me down to the river? Yeah. Maybe. Like I don't wanna. No, I don't think I. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this should be the paved part up here. Yes! Here we are. On our way to Thompson's Cross. And it's warm out. Yeah, that guy. Alright. Chocolate? Ah, well. Can't win them all. Oh, hey, man. Well. At least we were both terrified. Huh. That's... It's good. It's good. Man, I just fixed this hat. I don't need somebody chewing on it. <laughs> I bet you you are starving. That is, that is, that is hungry work. Scaring a wolf like that. So there will be um, little bits and bites of food in town here. So let's check in here and see what we get is so far not very appetizing. It's just a radio. All right. So I was just looking for a gas price, that's all. Still no pry bar. Still no pry bar. We didn't go to the barn. There's a good possibility of finding a pry bar in that joint. We'll find a pry bar at some point across across the uh, across the map. I'm sure. We've got the important saw and the important hammer, so we are set that way. All right. Search locker, don't mind if I do. Okay. So nothing. Yet another book. This will come in handy. Will it? Because the oats are kind of an underwhelming food item. Holy cow! Sewing kit number 37. Like, ugh. It just keeps going. Oh, matches that. I thought they had taken them out. Okay, well. We do get a little tiny bit of food in here. Better than nothing. The uh, community center, though. That'll have some food. So, that'll be a nice little... A little tour. Well, the day is clearing up. She's not exhausted, so we can check the f the house with the flag, and then whip back to Thompson's Cross. And there's cattails right there, and we're headed that direction anyway. 
I think if we keep snowballing the food, you know, we just keep growing that, uh, that food. I just, I gotta remember to drop those, uh, saplings. They do need a bit of a head start. Love a potato. Salt. So we've got, like, um, so the Pleasant Valley Farmhouse is gonna come together, uh, with, uh, Salt, cooking oil, flour, things like that. Um, but I'm probably going to want to get together a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe f and hike it up to the mountain. Because I would like to set up a good long-term base in Coastal Highway, the mountain, and... Mystery Lake, sorry. Those are my three bases. This is my triangle of, of fun. If once I get bored of living in one area, I go to another area and and you just collect resources to pass time, really. And that's how you know you're doing great at the game when you're just Killing time. Chopping trees and picking up sticks. You end up like shooting your bow like once a week, maybe. So it's, you'll never burn through all your arrows. Toilet water. Yeah, that, that can stay. Yeah. Pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with, uh, with what we're finding. There's a giant salmon back there, isn't there? Probably be rotten by the time we get back to it. But then you cook it up to 50%. Yeah. It's some calories. I forgot all... We went out the wrong door. I forgot all about them. It's another book. We're going to have to do some inventory management here at some point. Yeah, I imagine after I've looted this place, I'll be pretty much bogged down. Not just because of fatigue, but because of uh, the hundreds of books and the food I refuse to let go. Please be a coat in here. There is no coat. Well, we've got some more salt. Now that you know, I know what to look for, the salt's easy to find. Ooh, somebody was serving carrots. She's getting hungry. I don't want her to lose that well fed. I'm on the fence as to whether or not I'm, I'm probably going to actually start a fire in here. Take that. Never found anything in there. But, this kitchen has usually got a couple of good items in it. So, you know, you don't stay here too long. What have we here? It's sardines, it says right on the lid. Oh, -ho, chips. Chips and sardines. Oh yeah, that one doesn't open. Do not look underneath the sink. Actually pretty good. We're doing okay for food. Okay, let's get the other side. Boom. Skillet. I don't know what it's used for.
Do I start a fire? In here. Okay. Actually, you know what? We're not going to start a fire because I was going to start a fire and then pull torches, but we can just make a couple of torches. That is what I'm up to. So what we'll do now, beautiful. Don't believe my cloth situation is bad. Cloth's all right. Three isn't great, but... Cured rabbit pelt. Fresh deer hide. Oh, gross. What are you even doing carrying that? That's... Water. can stay here. However... There we go. Let's drop those. Start getting some curing in on that. Girly needs water. Chips, dog food. We wash down the chips with the dog food. Go, not dying of dehydration now, eh? Fish water and dog food water. Ugh. Pretty awesome. That's how gross it is. Yeah, right, we have a lot of water. But she can still carry everything we've got, so. Even this great book collection. But you're not. Uh oh. Okay, we can still kind of see. Ah, there it is. Good. Bed. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to drop that book. That's going to free up a little bit of weight. Um, don't want to... I don't want to cause any damage right now. Yeah, I would like her to recover. So I better have something to drink. Another 150 calories. That can't hurt, right? Sleep for the 10. There we go. Some water. Excellent. Pretty much ready. Pretty much ready. So, we'll sleep for two hours. And then I'm going to call it an episode here. A little short. But uh, not too horrible. We did cover a lot of ground. Whoops. Sorry. We did cover a lot of ground. And I'm happy with that. Um, but, uh, yeah. We'll... Uh, We'll, we'll take it up next uh, when we go to the mine. And from the mine into Coastal Highway. Probably check, trek clear across Coastal Highway. And I'll have to remember to pick up my saplings. And then... Uh, we might I don't know if I'll be able to forge next episode. Probably not. Probably get to the forge. <clears throat> 
crumbling highway. Oh, I'm dreading it. But, you know, Desolation Point doesn't get a lot of love. Mostly because it's unlovable. But, you know. You know. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. And keep surviving. All right?